All right, guys, welcome to ExcelForNoobs.com. This is just a quick video tutorial um, on how to add strike through to your content in Excel. And what that is is basically how do you draw a line through a word in Excel? And it's pretty simple. It's just a um, font, you know, a formatting command. So, uh, just go ahead and get this started. The first thing we do is we select the cell that we want this to take place. So there it's D D2. We've selected cell D2. And I'm going to press Control 1. That's going to open up the Format Cells dialog box. You can see here that the Font tab is already activated, but there are many different tabs available. If it didn't open up with a Font tab, just make sure that you select the Font tab right here. And then in the effects group, check the strike through box and click OK. And now all the content within that cell has a line drawn through it. The strike through command has taken place. Now there's other ways to do this. You can, uh, first let's go ahead and undo it. I'm just doing the same same steps that I did before except for I'm unchecking the box instead. Alright, another way to do it is just press Control 5. So that's a keyboard shortcut. Just hit Control 5. Alright, so what if you wanted to do it to just an individual word? I just undid it by pressing Control 5. Okay, so what if I wanted to do it to just a word? Well, I just double click the box and then I can highlight whichever word I want to add strike through to and then I can press control 5 and there I can also do it to individual letters or parts of the word now I'm pressing control 5 so it doesn't have to take place in the entire cell you can do it and I can do even an individual letter if I want control 5 all right, and then I can, if I want to undo everything I've done in the entire cell, I just select that cell. Now that added it, but then I can undo it by doing that by hitting Control Five twice. Okay, I I hope this tutorial helped you. Um, make sure to go ahead and check out all of our Excel tips tutorials. They're just random tips and tricks that I throw up periodically. Um, I'm sure they're not always something that you're looking for, but that's really the best way to learn Excel. You're not going to just think of something that you need to learn. You need to discover things. So just go through, and um, you may find something that you, ha you haven't been looking for, you haven't even thought of, but it ends up becoming extremely helpful. Uh, for years, I thought I really knew Excel, and until I really dug into it and, and um, studied it in detail is when I realized how much I didn't know. And it's because it was so much of the stuff that I didn't know was introduced to me. I didn't even realize that it was available to me. So that's really the best way to just go through all of our all of our uh, videos. We have our Excel for Noobs um, tutorial series, but then we have these random tips that we throw up and tricks that that um, you know that that aren't really in our uh, training series. Uh, also, make sure that you go ahead and you like all of our videos, or at least the ones that you actually like. Uh, comment, rate, subscribe to our channel. All Everything that you do, all this interaction, it helps with our ranking for our website and for our videos on YouTube. And um, and <clears throat> that's what motivates us to make, to make these videos, your interaction. And when you interact, it helps us with that ranking. And the amount of views that we get, that motivates us to make these um, free videos for you. So anyway, just make sure you interact with us. Uh, thanks for watching and have a great day or evening.